What's up, YouTube? It's Deshaun checking in once again, and I'm back again with another video, man. Hey, man, if you're new to the channel, man, and you're feeling the vibes, comment down below, hit that bell, and subscribe. You already know what time it is, man. Now, as y'all see by the thumbnail of the day, I'm gonna be showing y'all how to put big rims on almost any vehicle in GTA 5, man. Notice I said almost. Now, I'm gonna put emphasis on that. If there is a modded car that you're doing and it is locked from uh, V stands, I mean, not, uh, from a Z modeler, and they lock it before they put it out there, you probably won't be able to do this. So, without any further ado, if you are not to do this, cool. If you don't, pay attention because it's about to go down. Let's do it. <laughs> All right, y'all, we back. So first thing we want to do is go into our internet section, gta5mods.com. Of course, you already know. Oh, wow. What is That's Dorothy from uh, Twister. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. <laughs> anyway, back on track. So we want to go ahead and hit the search button. We want to go ahead and type in v stancer just like that let me move that cursor v stancer just like that and what you're looking for is this guy right here it's gonna be like a beat up pinto with some yellow lights all right everybody see that cool let's do it so this is version 0 0.2.5 that's the latest version now remember i said never come here I always scroll down here to your current version and this as you can see has had a lot of updates which means the developer IKT big shots out of IKT if y'all come on here make sure y'all like follow update bookmarks all that good stuff you know what I'm saying they 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 pretty much got you one right here this is a good one so go ahead and support all right I don't know if it's a girl or boy but y'all go ahead and support man all right so basically this lets y'all know that they working that they care all right, they constantly upgrading it, updating it. The last update was July 4th, 2020, so they ain't had no, you know, no issues since then. Now, as, as always, come to the comments, scroll down to the bottom of the comments, just to make sure everything is good with this mod. There's no issues, not crashing anybody's computer. Woo, woo, woo. All right, cool. So let's go ahead and hit the download button. Once that download right there, that's all we need from here, guys. So let's go ahead and exit out of the internet. And we want to pull up our GTA 5 directory. Go here, which it should be bookmarked. Mine's right here. Pull it up. Boom. There's my GTA 5 directory. But just in case you don't have a bookmark, I'm going to show you all how to get to it. So let's go ahead and hit the Windows. You then go to Documents. All right. Right over here on the side, wherever you downloaded your GTA 5 game at, Normally, it, it, it automatically downloads to C. That's my solid state drive. I keep my beats and stuff like that, my instrumentals, my music on that one. So I downloaded it on drive D. So click on whatever drive you put it on. Whatever drive you downloaded Steam on, you'll see Steam. Double click. Scroll down until you see Steam apps. Common. Grant that 505. We want to right click on this and pin it to your quick access. When you pin it to your quick access, that's how you can go here, and it's pinned right here. All right, this is your GTA 5 directory. Now, this is a simple one, guys. All we're doing, we're going to create some drop space. So let's move it over so we got some space, some a place to drop our files at. And let's open up our downloads. Right-click on there. Come down here. Nice, clean workspace. And V stands are right here double click on that and the only files we are going to be needing is vstancer.asi and the vstancer folder so we're going to click one we're going to hold control and while we click the other one let control go that's going to allow us to select two at the same time and we're going to drag and just drop over here in our gta directory let it go now i already have them so i'm not going to replace them but if you're doing this for the first time then you won't get this message. It'll automatically drop and you're good to go. Once you guys do that, let's jump in the game and I'm going to show y'all how to do this, man. 
All right, so I got two vehicles already ready for y'all, man. We got a 2021 Chevy Tahoe, fresh off the lot. That we gonna put some, uh, we gonna do like some 30, some 32s or some 34s on this one. All right, and big shout out to my sponsors, Stunt Motorsports, man, House and Flex. What's happening? If y'all want to whip and y'all want it done right and y'all want it done with blood, sweat, and tears, make sure y'all hit up Stunt Motorsports on Facebook, Instagram, wherever. Tell them Deshaun sent you, man. So, you know, my boy Flex had to hook me up with a 72. I actually got one in the lab right now. It's going to be the hardest donk y'all have ever seen to grace GTA 5. Dot com. I promise you this going to be the hardest don't But anyway We going to do this guy right here And we going to do this guy So let's go ahead and jump in the Tahoe first And I'm going to show you how to do this Alright So just for kicks If y'all want to open up the mod menu You go to vehicle options And you want to go ahead and you know paint it up Cool So for that you know For that uh, For that case or whatever I'm trying to say We're going to go ahead and just slap some paint on it real quick Just so it'll look good So let's go with a wine red With a hot pink pearlescent There we go Give it that, you know, that brandy wine look a little bit Alright, cool Now that we got paint on there I'm going to show you how to do it Now, important You cannot do this with the wheels that come on the car. You have to have at the market wheels on your car, okay? So, let's open this mod menu back up. Go to mod menu. I mean, you know, wheels. Let's find some wheels to put on here. Bespoke. Let's do. Let's see. Let me do something nice. Something that makes sense. Let's go with these right here. Whole lot of chrome. A little bit of paint. Nice, you know, nice balance. All right. So now that we got our rims on there, our aftermarket rims, we ready. So what you want to do is hit the semicolon button right next to the L on your keypad. Or excuse me, on your keyboard. When you hit that, the V stands for menu will pop up. Now remember I said almost any car. If you hit that semicolon and this menu doesn't pop up, then that means that car is locked and you cannot modify it whatsoever. But it's very few cars that do that. Not, I, would, I would say 97% of any car that you drive is going to be able to do this. So it's all good. If it don't, just just you know, just know, find another car. It's cool. All right, I'm going to show you how I do it. You can do it however you want to do it. But I'm going to show you how I do it. First thing I do is go to tires. Then I go to front or rear. Doesn't matter. Just pick one. Tire radius. What we're going to do, I like to start off with five. So we're going to click to the right five times. We're on 0 0.42. Let's go up five clicks. One, two, three, four, five. That's going to put them things off in the air. Now, on SUVs, you can generally go a lot higher than you can on cars, of course. So let's do five more. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, six, seven. All right, I went up to 54 on that one. Now. If you have 12 gigs of RAM or or lower, you're going to have an issue depending on how high you go up. I got 32 gigs of RAM, so I can handle a little bit more. But I'm going to show you what will happen if you go too high or if your RAM is not high enough. You're going to start having issues like this. The wheel is going to be jumping like crazy. See that? So let's back on back, back it up. Now, if you if you do this and your rims start jumping, just just you know just come off of it a little bit. Fifty nine, they jumping a little bit. And the reason why I say go one at a time, when you lift it up a little bit, drive up, drive back, make sure it's, it's you know it's not no jumping going on. If you see a lot of jumping, back off of it a little bit more. Drive front backwards, still some jumping. What we say fifty? Let me see. I'm going to say 51 was good. So we're going to leave it at 51. We drive forward. We ain't got no jumping for real. So 50, 50, 50 yeah. So 51 is good. Now I'm going to go to the rear. I'm going to just throw it straight up to 51 since we tested it on the front. Uh, it's still jumping a little bit. 
Let's take it down to 50. All right, let's try 50. Still jumping a little bit, but whatever. We're going to do it for the sake of this video. Once you get your radius good, back out of there and go to wheel size. When you're on wheel size, you want to just sit your wheels on the ground. So let's go on up. Until you sitting just right. Now, if you want that low profile look, by all means, keep going until you look like you scraping the ground on the pancakes. But me, I like to see a little bit of my tread. Like right there is perfect for me. All right, so now that we got the rims big, you want to back out of here. Oh, check your check your check your wheel width too. You want your wheels kind of look a little meaty on there. You can widen them up a little bit. All right, cool. Now that we right there, let's back up. Next, we're going to go to suspension menu. Now, I recommend you start at visual lowering. And we're going to raise the whole thing up with visual lowering. Just go back a little bit. That's cool with me. Now, I want to lift the back of that truck up. Let me go to rear height because I don't like how it's squatting. Throw it up a little bit. Cool. Now, I don't like the way them wheels look like they in a little bit. So, I'm going to go to rear chamber. Make them stand straight up a little bit. And then rear track width just pushes it out, pushes it in. I think that's straight for me. Let me check the front. Rear track width, bring them out just a little bit. Now, you generally will not have to mess with front chamber or rear chamber ever unless you just don't like the stance of the vehicle. You see what I'm saying? Um, I think that look good, y'all. That looks pretty good. So, whenever you're done, you can hit save as car. And what save as car does is, you see this license plate right here? It's going to save it to the license plate. So basically, anytime you get into this truck again, it'll automatically make your wheels go up big again. You see, like, see what I'm saying? So no matter what you do, if you wreck this car, trash it, when you hop back in it again, the wheels going to go right back to the size they was. So that's the first one. Pretty nice, huh? I know I probably went. A, see that? I know I probably went a little too big on the wheels, slightly. But, you know, every car is different. Pickup trucks tend to take the biggest wheels, of course. All right, so I'm going to park that bad boy over here. And let's work on this donk. This is my dream car, of course. All right. Let's go on and throw this thing in the air, y'all. All right, let's go to vehicle options. Wheels. What wheels we gonna put on her? Let's see. Now, typically, these rims came with big wheels anyway. I just had them on some little wheels. So, that's why they looking crazy big right now. So let's pick these. All right. So as y'all can see, the factory wheels are 30s, which is why they just got big all of a sudden. For the sake of the video, I sat them on some little boys. So let's open up our menu, go to tires, and we are going to throw these things up in the air. Throw them up about right there. Actually, I ain't gonna go too high on them. 66. Oh no, that's too big. 60's good. Let's go to the rear. Throw them things up to 60. Alright, no jumping. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, now. Let's go to suspension menu, visual lowering. I 
I think that's good right there. Now, if y'all know, if y'all, you know, if y'all know anything about the dunk game, y'all know y'all got to squat it, right? Your squat game got to be on point. So let's raise the front of it up a little bit. That's sitting up pretty high. Now we're going to squat the back of it. We want to get as close to that center cap as possible. Y'all from Miami. Y'all know. Y'all got to squat that thing to the center cap, man. Now that's a real don't squat right there. And I think that's good, man. Y'all see how the tires kind of end a little bit? So let's mess with that front chamber. Let's get them straight. Actually, let me go back to tires and make that width a little bit more beefier. All right. Now let's go back to suspension. Track width. All right, that look good to me. All right, let's check out that back. Back is fine to me. Rear track with bring them out just a little bit. Cool. And hey, I think we did it, man. Let's go ahead and throw some paint on this, man, and make it official. What y'all say? And come on, man. Stunt Motorsports, the only, the only creators putting flakes in the paint job. Don't act like y'all don't see them flakes, man. I like y'all see them flakes, man. I got the best sponsors in the world, man. Come on now. Oh, there we go. It's finna rain on us, man, so we gotta have it in this video. Alright, let's go ahead and throw a... Uh... Okay, let's see. Do a green. What we doing, y'all? What we doing? What, what color we doing, y'all? What color we doing? It's raining on us, man. What we doing, y'all? Let's go with the hot pink, too. All right. Let's see. Let me get this top up real quick. All right, cool. Now, let's get that interior. And we can call it a night. But anyway, y'all get the drift, man. If y'all found this video helpful, please comment down below. Hit that sub button. Y'all check me out, man. But until next time, we out of here, man. Y'all enjoy.